like to have your work in the gallery and this and that. So then we start the Orange County, which is right there in L.A. Yeah, shows. the malls around there. Yeah. So with Lee Gilpin shows. So we do about three shows with him. because And also, uh, I gave uh, Jody the uh, my aunt's address, but you never know from these people, really. Mm. You, you know, you have to carry on with your own plans. And we thought we were going to get an apartment in Santa Monica. And, uh, yeah, that would have been you know, nice. looking at the galleries. Do, you could do any amount of shows you want to do. Because you uh, had to take things with a pinch of salt hit sometimes and just go with your plan and, and maybe things work out. And Yeah, we yeah. weren't sure what was going to come, so we had to just continue with our plan, you know, mm. but which was to do all these shows. Yeah. We do get the letter the first week of January. That's right, we get a letter. She wants me to come and be Mid-January. the resident artist, only artist in wow. the gallery. Wow. Yeah. So, wow, that sounded like a pretty so good great. deal. So we said, of course, and yeah, she said, sure. uh, oh, yeah, the 15 minutes away. We know, you know, the, the nice apartments, swimming pool. Oh. They got us an apartment <laughs> with the swimming pool. I mean, pool we and... pay for everything ourselves, oh, sure. but right. they, you know, introduce us to everybody. And... So mm. we left uh, We we left as well because Joanne didn't particularly like the idea of earthquakes happening every day. <laughs> yeah. And they were. You could find In the van. Oh, you yeah. Could feel the <laughs> little... van. Even in the shows, the paintings would shake on the easel. Not so, a lot, you know. but just a smidge. <laughs> really? Yeah. For not much, not much, but enough to worry Joanne. For me, know. oh, my God. <laughs> I'd be... We're on the San Andreas fault line, right? Mm, so yeah. I used to always phone my father. Father... Is it going? No, don't worry. A hundred years. So we headed off. Okay. So we headed back to, to Arizona. Yeah, drove and back to Arizona. Yeah, got there, and the place was fantastic. It had all been built. I mean, it's amazing how fast they can build things and fit, finish them. And there was a massive, big wine tasting place next door, and a French restaurant. And, yeah. Oh, Guadalajara. Just Harris. So you really perfect uh, situation. Generation. Really yeah. thought you'd, you'd started to hit the big time in some way. You, you thought, well, wow, you know, this is I, it. I had, a, I had about a, a quarter yeah, of sure. the gallery was for me. Right. And the other the other parts were for pottery, Indian basket work. Um, what was the other thing? You there? had the Navajo jewelry. Navajo jewelry was yeah. there. Nancy Gilbert. And I'm mm. the only artist. So. Uh, but you, the resident, so you were there for, for how long did they give you? Or did, was it on a six month oh, basis no, or something? Or? No, this is forever. No, forever. It was close <laughs> to except they as long as it would have take. Been, yeah. It would have been forever, except they ended up three years later. Yeah, you know, it's a very unfortunate that, but. Yeah. So you were, These ladies hmm. were, uh, you know. Six months a year. We didn't, uh, it wasn't, a, you know. A, uh, all year round. No, My work was there all year round. Yeah, I was right. only going to be there. Yeah, they, winter time is the only time when you can stand the heat. Yeah, yeah. So we many. would be there from October to April. Yeah, it, yeah, we'd leave in April. It's too hot in uh, May. It is the desert, right? Then we go back to Vancouver, and then we do all the shows there. And, right. Uh, then you know, so we'd have six months hmm. down there and six months in Vancouver. Gotcha. And so. It it was a great setup mm. for us. Yeah, of course we we love that. Well, they had wealthy clients. Nothing mm. but rich people yeah, from the so snowbirds from New York. With the <laughs> the snowbirds, yeah. We went yeah. to some people, some of the houses. We went to one, and the window it was right at the top of a mountain, and the window that they had with the table where we ate underneath it mm. looked like Dali's painting of the cross with the window. It was like mm. you're looking out into space. And this amazing sized window, just you felt like you were in a Dali painting, you know. And everybody, you know, that's sort of uh, Scottsdale style. Like these ladies always dressed the hilt. They, you know, had beautiful homes. They Mercedes, Jag, you know, they like, oh, yeah. you know, that's how they and have to do it. There. Everyone's that, very sociable down there. Oh, the Americans yeah. are always, they're you know, great. every time they buy a painting, they want to invite you to the house. Yeah, they're really So, great. I mean, it mm. was really. But they're like ships in the night, of course, you know. <laughs> and your prices well, were going up, I imagine. The prices, prices were started good. going up there. The prices yeah, were yeah, very good yeah. there for, for us, the, yeah. yeah. For the time, yeah, yeah, higher than what we had. Them well, back, we would know. have been with them forever, and yeah. it probably would have been a, quite something. But uh, what happened with them was, uh, I mean, we were with them till we went back to Europe, and then we shipped works from Europe to them. Yeah. And that's when... Uh, I think the partnership between they them got and ambitious girls, and they wanted yeah, to go and, and down to Fifth uh, Avenue as well. Instead of staying with something that was successful, yeah. they decided to divide and buy two, get two places. Yeah, yeah. sometimes you got to stay. And in I one guess the overheads uh, got them. 
because they they did everything really beautifully, very expensive. And so in the end, it's all your, you know, bills coming in. And if you can't pay for everything, you know. Because mm. summertime is dead. I mean, it's, yeah, that's you know, the, yeah, they're it's, it's only a seasonal. six month seasonal thing, really. Because yeah, people can't take it, because it's just... Well, there's not that many people who want to be there in the summer. It's <laughs> the like desert. 120 mm. degrees. I mean, you got to be in some... You're living in your air conditioning yeah. constantly. Yeah, it is yeah. quite something that... But, you know, it was it was pretty wonderful. All You know, they've got their uh, cowboy boots and their cowboy hats and, you know, the guys around there. You mm. know, and very well-dressed as well. And, mm. and then you've got the natives, like the Navajos. I did trades for some paintings jewelry. for jewellery. I had some great jewellery. The turquoise. That I ended up getting stolen. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, because but, the, uh, in, in this gallery, the, there was an idea of four different media. Was that it? it was, there yeah. was a yeah, concept? Right, yeah. You had the Hopi baskets. Mm. You had the Navajo jewellers. Then you had Paul the painter, mm. and then uh, they also had the artisan pots with Nancy oh, Goldberg right. yeah, and, and right. exotic plants. Exotic yeah, plants. Yeah, it was a very yeah. beautiful gallery. Right. Yeah, I mean, we were so, and uh, the opportunity for me. Well, they were very happy that I could work that. Right. They mm. said, "Oh, sure, please. Can can you sell every day?" And then Paul would work in the uh, van. I'd be in the van. He'd be in the van. Still in the van. In the, in the parking lot painting. C- couldn't let go of the van. So you didn't have a no. studio. They didn't give you any space or you didn't want it. Well, no, I could have actually if I uh, thought about it. No, mm. they prefer uh, maybe. They well, you could have I could have painted them. Yeah. But you like the I privacy. actually painted outside in the pat in the Yeah, home. you might have done that. I did paint that. outside in the, in the big <laughs> I mean, sort of portal. I mean, he could have gone right. back to the apartment. But you know what I'm doing? When I'm painting, it's I really... Don't want to be doing it in public sometimes because I'm, you know, mm. sometimes I'm working so fast I don't really want them to see how fast I paint. Well, <laughs> no. You're you're prolific. That's just who you are. That's, well, I know everybody's it, different. They, people yeah. don't believe that. They, um, you also met Edward Curtis's oh, of course, daughter, didn't right. you? In in Scottsdale. Yeah. How was that? Joanne can tell you that one. Yeah. Well, first of all, though, um, when we do go back, uh, or maybe at the very beginning you know mm. the big the big van uh it was marcel he was a romanian which was a friend that uh, Francoise had made in vancouver right so i'm just saying back to that white van because he was instrumental in getting that van all done and it was through marcel then uh, that we ended up with the new orleans oh, gallery he, he moved to new orleans yeah. and got a right. gallery going there he loved art yeah, that's right I he loved paul's that. work so when we left, this is before, you know, that we were down at Scottsdale, he said, hey, I'm thinking about uh, going to New Orleans and, hey, you know, how would it work? And we said, sure, let us know what you're going to do. We can ship your works. He said, I could call it the Heritage Gallery. Wow. Uh, and it would be the Black Heritage, right? Wow. So, so I was painting a lot of black faces and African <laughs> sculptures in yeah, the background. <laughs> that's right. Right. Which so, worked out great. When we're down, this is before uh, we meet Curtis's daughter. Yeah, yeah, right. okay. When we got back, yeah. So I think it was late, late, nearly Christmas, that we fly back. That's right. Yeah, for uh, the Chief Dan George show, because of the natives again, uh, we had met Rogel Enterprises, and they were a printing company, and. We we never did prints before, and we I was never too interested in you know like a lot of prints that were not hand signed or anything. Yeah, I like to just keep to the originals. But mm. uh, anyways, uh, they had uh, talked about doing two prints, the hunt and the journey, which ended up actually for many years they've yeah. been out there, which yeah, right. in the end it <laughs> was good publicity. But they had organized the show at the West End. At the international suite, and Chief where, Dan George where, was our guest of honor. Yeah, they had arranged that. Right. We probably may not have, you know, been able to get him, but uh, you know, they're big business people, and so uh, they had asked us, you know, do you have any suggestions? I said, well, we've always wanted to do something, uh, you know, at the international suite where we had our wedding reception. So that worked out perfectly, and we go back for that show. And uh, that's when they introduced the two reproductions, Mm. uh, which were unlimited, right? And uh, 
that night, yeah, you had, unfortunately, you had a TV interview, but uh, I didn't even Which think of it. never could find. Two yeah. years later, I Someone think, gee, that could be the, interesting. The copy or whatever. And uh, they could never find yeah, the actual interview. You know, somebody stole it or just took it for themselves. Hmm. So that was that. But, but when we were there, then Marcel is saying to us, hey, um, I'm going to do a big show for Paul at the New Orleans Hotel. That's no. right, the Royal yeah, Orleans the Royal Hotel. Yeah. That was really something. That was because we, we had he gotten he he was such a marketing guy and yeah, a salesman. He, he actually organised to get um, four the, four different television stations yeah. from the surrounding states to come and 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 have it on on their their, their programming. So it was quite amazing the advertising he'd done. But we we went we flew back then to Scotland. So then then we right. took our van. That's right. And, and we, we just drove went, to New Orleans yeah. wow. with the paintings yeah. to put Two in. Weeks. This, this was for Mardi Gras, and so we we ended up three weeks there all together. Mm. I think yeah. in, in yeah. New Orleans. But at this one show that we had at the Royal Orleans Hotel, yeah, was which was spectacular, and the hotel was really something else as well. Wow. We had this minister from one of the Baptist churches right. come to the show and loved my work because I'd painted all this black heritage, you know, I mean, I'd done these faces with their, their African sculptures and everything. And of course, it was Black History Week, ah. <laughs> which yeah. we never realised. It was, uh, what, Reverend Dunn from the Re new, Reverend Dunn, new, was it? I, you got yeah, it written, well, yeah. I had that And so yeah. I new said, he said would you, would, could you do an exhibition in the church? For my for my uh, people, and I said, sure, that'd be great, you know. Anyways, uh, Marcel didn't want us to do it. He said, oh, that church is in a very bad neighborhood. You shouldn't really go there. <laughs> and we yeah. said, don't you get our way with it. We're going to do it anyway. Yeah, you can. Mm. So we went yeah. there, and I mean, that cross was just two planks of wood yeah, nailed it was great together. Yeah. It was amazing. And he was just like Dr. Oh, King. Oh, he was like Dr. Martin Luther King, the way he spoke. Mm -hmm. So we sat in the congregation yeah. every day for a, week. for a week with these paintings on the top of the big stage right. with him speaking and the congregation listening and looking at the paintings and, and learning, learning about, about their own history. I actually black history, I knew more yeah. history than they did about the blacks because it's interesting. A lot of them really didn't understand a lot of the, their own heritage. Mm. Well, they don't always. You know, they, yeah, they, they were getting an education and so were we, you know, but yeah. it was yeah. amazing. Mm. And so we sat in the pews. We with sat them in after. the pews with them and I talked to them and explained yeah. and everything about what was going on, you know, with the paintings. Mm. Anyways, they came up and they gave me the key to New oh, Orleans. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Wow. I got the key to New Orleans, which enabled me to get into any club, any place. An honorary citizen. Honorary, of an honorary New citizen of New wow. Orleans. We should make a badge. We still have that now. We should go and use it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. What is it? Is 40 it years later. Is it an actual key? What is it? It's a, it's a well, key and a certificate. That they goes do give you a false little you get a, key. You get yeah. a, and the certificate. It's a big key. It's like yeah. A, is it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's got written all over it that I'm so an honorary symbol. citizen. That's of amazing. Yeah, really. And all from Liverpool. Says, and it even yeah. says that all these establishments have got to honor it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, yeah. a, a, that's a, that's a, a well, guy. We never took advantage. But <laughs> a guy from Liverpool, the, the home of music in, in, in Europe, one could say. <laughs> Gets the yep. uh, citizenship of um, the yeah. music capital, one of the music capitals of the U.S. Fantastic! Yeah. Oh. Jazz, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, That's then fun. the thing is, you know, in the art world, of course, you meet all kinds of people, right? Yeah. And a lot of times they disappear. But Marcel, he had he disappeared. Uh, we he think it was loan sharks from Vancouver. Yeah, he'd he'd, he'd borrowed he money to buy this uh, this nice vehicle in Vancouver in Vancouver before he left. Before yeah. he left. And then he drove down there and never paid any more money. He only paid the first instalment, right? Ooh. So we, while we were there, yeah, they did. Pick they it they up. came and grabbed it from the street. Oh <laughs> gosh, yeah. So he was a bit of a wide boy. Yeah. You never saw him again. Well, we saw him. Well, three years he for, ran that. He oh, did three well. Years he ran and the then gallery. all of a sudden, ah. and then suddenly disappeared. From the face of the earth, yeah. either someone bumped him and off, or something could, happened. I don't know. Or he's in jail. And I don't his know. partner, you know, uh, oh, she he was, was, by the way, uh, a little bit of a, 
Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, Ellen. Uh, Ellen was an interesting character, like in Vancouver when we gone out, you know, to clubs and that. But one night I was going out with her. She, 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 she oh my gosh, she, she arrives. Her, head. her, her <laughs> head is shaved, not a tattoo, but she has a cobra, a cobra uh, drawn, you know, in the head. <laughs>